The valve is now set at closed and we have a 4 milliamp signal which is the fail position. When we energize the solenoids it goes to full open which is 20 milliamps. When we de-energize we go back again of course to 4 milliamps. So it operates just like a typical on-off valve. Now with the main solenoids energized we'll energize the command input which is set at 8 milliamps and it'll go within plus or minus 3 degrees or plus or minus 4 percent of the command input signal. When we de-energize the solenoids it goes to its fail position or 4 milliamps. Now let's turn it up to a farther open position just to illustrate how it will operate from a higher percentage open. So now we'll de-energize the command input. We'll energize the main power. We're at full open at 20 milliamps. When we energize the command input, it'll go to 16 milliamps, or roughly 15.7 milliamps on the feedback versus 16 on the command input, which is well within the plus or minus 3 degrees, or plus or minus 4 percent of the milliamp full-scale range. Anytime we de-energize the primary solenoids, we go to the fail closed position. Now we will energize both the command input and the solenoid power input. And it will go to the command input 16 milliamp signal. And it, as we vary the signal, it will vary the position. So if we go to 12 milliamps, on the input or 11.7. Position feedback says we're 11.8 or plus or minus 4 percent of full scale. Now we'll close a little further and you can see the input and the feedback are within the tolerable range of plus or minus 3 degrees or plus or minus 4 percent of the milliamp full scale reading. Anytime the power is de-energized it goes to the fail closed position.